This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and small little demo of this Deco Mini 7 XP pen tablet. So why am I doing an unboxing on this tablet? Well, various reason. This actually ties in to 3D printing and various other creative measures, which is really, really neat. So basically with this tablet, you connect to your PC, your Mac, um, whatever computer device you are using, and it allows you to draw onto the computer. So what I mean by that, basically you draw on this like you would with a pen and paper and it digitizes it onto your PC or Mac. So why is that good for 3D printing? Well, for those of you that do color 3D printing, this is a really, really good way to basically color in your bamboo prints without using a mouse. It's gonna make it that much easier and simplify the process that much more. For those of you that are artists, you can digitize all your drawings, many, many, many use cases, but we're gonna focus on 3D printing for the sake of this video. So first things first, I'll just mention what this comes with. So this is a battery free tablet. Um, the pen is battery free. The tablet connects into USB. So it's powered by USB, but there is no battery. It's got um, 8,192 pressure levels. And the resolution of this is 5,080. Uh, the report rate is 220. It's got a 10 millimeter uh, rating height. And it's just powered by USB-C and it's compatible with your Chrome, your Android, your Linux systems, your Mac systems and Windows. So let's go ahead and start this unboxing. I'm going to be dropping a lot of YouTube videos this month. So keep an eye out for all those videos. I have a lot of really cool stuff coming out. I will also be doing a demo on coloring uh, and bamboo slicer with this so stay tuned for that at the end of this video so pretty straightforward you got your tablet here very lightweight so you have a bunch of uh, buttons here that you can program you have to remove this sticker which I'll do after and then you got your USB connection right there. And basically this is the surface where you can color and draw just inside here. So it's very lightweight, feels kind of cheap plasticky. This was about $25 on Amazon. There are more expensive versions, but this is just a cheap budget version I got. And it's called the XP pen. So in here, We have the little uh, tip remover here, so you can change the tips once they wear down. You got your USB-C connection. The cable's not very long, but long enough. You got your tips for replacement. You got your USB-C to USB-A converters here. So one for the laptop, one for the PC. And then you got all your documentation, warranty card, uh, pen guides and all that. So for those of you that don't have a phone with a pen, this is another way to turn your phone into uh, uh, with a pen function, basically. So my Galaxy um, S22 Ultra has a pen in it, so I don't really need it for that. So it's mainly just for my PC and laptop. And then that's it in the package here. Set that aside, put the replacement tips and tip remover in there and the adapters here. So let's just go ahead and open up the pen here. So the pen is battery free, very lightweight and feels very cheap. But once again, what do you expect for 25 bucks? So not too bad. So the cable is a little bit longer than I thought, which is nice. I'd say it's about one, two, maybe about three feet long. And it just plugs in right here. I'll remove the protective cover on this. And there she is. So now I'm going to connect this to my laptop. 
we'll go through the uh, setup process and then I'll do a little demo. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, so I got my laptop booted up here. So first things first is I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch my screen recorder so we can see what's going on uh, on the screen as well here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the tablet in right now. And then uh, I'll hit record here on the screen recorder and then we'll do a dual shot here so it'll look really good. All right, so it's plugging in now. Now we're going to see what happens once it plugs in. So basically there's not much to this. It's already actually it worked almost instantly. Okay, so so basically you hover over and you can see your mouse. So these buttons here are all programmable. Um, I don't have the software downloaded yet so you can't really program anything so what I'll do uh, we'll just do a quick test before I download the software I want to just open up bamboo uh, studio here and I'll just do a quick project of anything just to try the uh, coloring so I'll open up uh, the color here zoom in all right here like that we'll grab the triangle tool it's gonna take some getting used to pretty neat though okay we'll go dad uh, let's grab the sphere and then here we go gonna put it down to make this easier to work with so basically what you want to do it looks like is you want to hover so I'm just gonna erase all painting here I'm gonna hover and uh, let's zoom in can we do this to zoom in no I'll use the mouse for a second just to zoom in so press and hold the button it looks like see a coloring in there which is really neat so it's gonna make coloring a lot easier in bamboo studio now uh, one thing I need to figure out is how to do zoom so you can also press and hold the back button here and um, instead of using just make sure you hover over the tablet and then press and hold it and you can color doing that as well like so this is going to make coloring a lot funner and easier actually so let's go here with the triangle tool now obviously i'm not doing a fantastic job here because i'm just doing a quick little demo but uh, let's see if I can figure out how to zoom in on this thing. So some of the buttons on here are already programmed. So it looks like this one here is undo, redo. I'm sure there is a way to program them. Um, so I'm just going to cut the video here. I'm going to read up on the tablet a little bit and restart. So basically, it is plug and play. But if you want to use the full capabilities of this thing, you need to go to xp-pen.com so I'm just gonna get the screen recorder started again and then I'll show you how to do the drivers and program all the express keys so once you go to xp-pen.com you go to driver download look for the specific one you're using I believe this was the Deco Mini i7 and then I'm using Windows so I'm gonna download the latest version of the Windows I'm gonna install the software here So I'll just wait for the software to install. Once it's installed, we'll program the express keys. 
go back into the bamboo slicer or bamboo studio and proceed with the next step. All right, hopefully the microphone is recording. So uh, I've downloaded the software, installed it. Uh, as you can see, it tells you your working area here once you open up the program. You can uh, basically customize it, proportion, but I'm just gonna do full area. That way, uh, full area basically means your entire screen here is uh, what the tablet is covering. And it's gonna be at the zero degree because I'm not rotating it or anything. So make sure you have it oriented like so. So for the pen settings, so right here is where you can customize it. So right clicks at the bottom, left clicks at the top. You can also change the uh, amount of pressure. So if you press the pen, it'll tell you how much pressure you're applying. Just accidentally changed the shortcut keys. So that's basically that. Uh, now shortcut keys are these keys I was talking about. So right now, they are default. So number five is control Z. Uh, zoom in is the sixth key. Seventh is zoom out. Uh, and you got your driver panel space. I'm just going to keep them as defaults. Uh, but eventually I'm going to fine tune everything so it works perfectly with Bamboo Studio. And then obviously just hit save. So now I'm going to go ahead and open Bamboo Studio again. And I'm now, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm basically hovering over the device now. Um, tablet, I should say. And you can see it's kind of just following the mouse everywhere. So it says previous session, restore. So we're back here. So now... And I know what the buttons do. I'm going to click there. And then the uh, left click was the bottom button on the pen. So I'm going to left click. And I'm going to erase all painting here. So now I'm going to try the hotkey. So I believe six. And then they're not really working the way I expected them to. And that's probably because it's not programmed on Bamboo Studio to do that. So. I just zoomed in with the mouse. Let me go back to the app here. And I'm going to customize K1 to be mouse control. There we go. Scroll up for one. Customize. Scroll. Mouse control again. It's going to be scroll down. So K1 is scroll up. K2 is scroll down. We'll hit save. Back to bamboo and let's test it. So I'm now hitting K1. K2, beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm hovering over it and I'm gonna hit sphere. I'm gonna zoom in to the S. Use my mouse to get into position here. And there we go. I'm gonna just hit erase again. I'm going to zoom in. That's the maximum it zooms in. So now I'm going to press gently on my tab and color this. This is very, very satisfying. And I just hit one of the hotkeys to undo. So with that said, I'm going to go back here and go back to the hotkeys. And I'm going to make this one the redo button. So, and it goes control Y. So let's do control, control Y. Oops. Okay, that's uh, takes I'm getting used to. We'll do that again. So control Y. Okay, close, save, let's see if that worked, Just, let's try control Y, oh interesting, and save it, ah there we go, it's good I set it as this, okay so let's do control Z, control Z, control Y, there we go, control Z, control Y, perfect, let's go back to erase painting, now we're going to scroll up, scroll down, like this, and let's try the red here. Third. 
reduce the pen size down and then we're just gonna color this like so this is gonna be so much fun coloring now and so much easier i'm kind of happy with this purchase for 25 bucks tool okay that's obviously not doing well it's doing what it needs to but it's not as satisfying let's go back to the color tool here and try something interesting okay so now for one more test i'm just going to open up paint Anyway, so that's the little demo. This is an amazing tablet. Probably the best $25 purchase I've ever done, to be honest. Fantastic device. I'm not sponsored, by the way. This was purchased out of pocket. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And that's it for the demo. So that's it for today's video. So I've um, we've shown the plug and play capabilities of the tablet. We've shown what it can do with the software and driver. Uh, I've shown you how to draw and color with it on your uh, PC or laptop. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty neat purchase for about 25 bucks Canadian. It's a great, great accessory to have if you're into 3D printing and especially if you're doing color 3D printing. So if you enjoyed the video today, please make sure to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave your comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Lightbot out.